Good morning and welcome. My name is Magid El Said. I'm originally from Cairo, living here in Nueva since uh, 1994 in this wonderful uh, spot on earth. Uh, I'm graduated faculty of language, Italian and French, all my life working on the uh, travel industry. I started in 1994. Uh, I bought a piece of land which uh, I started as a restaurant serving uh, tourists coming from Sharm uh, el or uh, Saint Catherine uh, and Taba. The business of the restaurants was going very well, uh, serving between 200 to 400 meals per day. And uh, this is how I started. In that time, I was just keen to uh, uh, make money and it was like pure business. But when I met the Bedouins and uh, I found out that uh, there is another way of thinking and living, the most important lesson that I learned that we are what we leave behind us, what I leave for my children and the children of my children. Uh, if I'm taking, taking and overtaking, then there will be nothing left for them. That's why I started to understand and to read and to learn more about regenerative tourism, about the difference between a traveler and the tourist. Thanks to those travelers that they uh, talk to me about many other communities around the world and different techniques of agriculture like the permaculture, biodynamic, uh, organic farming, uh, regenerative farming. And through this, we start every time uh, learning. Uh, this has led us to uh, educational, to, uh, educational tourism. So it's a very important pillar in development of the communities uh, without this, we cannot uh, uh, accelerate the, the uh, transformation. We are more than 75 farmers. Uh, everyone has his own farm. And with, there is like 12 camps like Habiba that they have their own farm. And then thinking about Nueva to be an attractive city uh, for uh, education and uh, sustainable development. And I believe education is the key. Education for the local people that they are living and the education for the tourism and the tourists or travelers that they are visiting. Uh, every one of them should know uh, about the environment and about the importance of each element of the environment and how they are working together in harmony and to be aware of our uh, actions, impact, uh, it is more uh, considering our footprint and handprint. So uh, I know that it will be very difficult to change uh, uh, immediately. Creating uh, an educational hub like what we are doing here in Habiba that we can receive more uh, students, researchers, uh, people that they have knowledge uh, that they can transfer to the local people and learning more about the habits and uh, uh, the uh, actions of the local people. And then it's like win-win situation for uh, all of us. Habiba community for me is like a plant I planted a seed and this seed I would like that it grow and become whole Nueva to be an educational city receiving uh, researchers, uh, students uh, all year round from Egypt and from uh, all over uh, the world. Uh, integrating all the different stakeholders that we have the sea, the desert, the uh, Bedouins and local uh, co communities living here. How to transform the tourism from the tourism to tourism, uh, inviting and uh, uh, having people living for longer period here. And this will happen through students or researchers that they can uh, afford to stay long and I believe their impact will be 
huge in uh, how we can minimize the carbon emission and what does it mean minimize carbon emission it lead you to the climate change and uh, to uh, decrease the uh, high temperature that is happening it means more water uh, coming uh, more green and it's the whole cycle how it is all integrated and how it is all connected and the most important is human capital and conscious people that they leave behind them a huge impact for uh, generations to come.